the Gravity Hammer. A highly powered alien hammer that manipulates gravity to kill a fully armored Spartan in one swing. But... But how? In the Halo games, there are many alien species that make up the Covenant. One in particular are the Brutes. These Planet of the Apes knockoffs have their own arsenal of weapons, the strongest one being the Gravity Hammer. This thing is powerful, being able to send a thousand pound Spartan flying. The Hammer uses some kind of generator to emit a field of gravity when it's swung. Halo does take place in the future, and gravity manipulation could be possible, but the Brutes are not the most... intelligent of species, usually resorting to brute tactics. So for them to figure out how to manipulate gravity is a bit of a long shot. You could say that the Hammers were upgraded to gravity hammers by the more intelligent members of the Covenants like the Elites or the Prophets, but the oldest gravity hammer was created long before the Brutes even joined the Covenant, and it uses the same gravity technology. So how did these hulking monkeys figure out how to manipulate gravity? Like with the Needler, we'll first need to chart down all the weird things that happen with the weapon. Then we'll solve each of them separately. First, the hammer swings incredibly fast using thrusters on the back of it. The confusing thing here is, how does the hammer know when to use the thrusters? Second, when impacting a surface, a gravity shock wave pulses from the hammerhead, pushing everything around it back. Third, the Fist of Rukt, the first gravity hammer, can push and pull objects and humans towards it at the wielder's will. So first, let's cover the thrusters. This is a pretty simple explanation. Similar to the Needler, the Gravity Hammer might have a form of gyroscope inside of it. When the hammer is tilted at just the right angle, the thrusters will activate. In Halo 5, the idle animation for the hammer has you open the side of it and look inside, where there's this spinny thing that looks very similar to a gyroscope. But since the gravity generator is located here, it's most likely the gravity generator. But if you look closely at the gravity hammer, you can see wires running from the hammer down to the hilt. So if this spinny thing isn't the gyroscope, then the gyroscope is most likely located at the hilt. Gyroscopes are very, very tiny, or rather, they can be. Plus, it would be smarter to locate a delicate gyroscope away from the part that smashes into things all the time. And a final note on this bit, gravity hammers are manufactured by the Sacred Promissory the same group that assemble the Needlers, so gyroscopes might be their go-to for switches. Now for that gravity shockwave. The activation is easy, it's the impact or sudden stop. Doing this would send a signal from the gyroscope to the gravity generator, which would activate a pulse. The shockwave isn't the hard part, as it apparently just uses gravity. But what if it doesn't? It would make a whole lot more sense for the gravity hammer to just use a shockwave, rather than actual gravity. Going on that, there are a few things the generator could be doing to achieve the shockwave effect. The first option is that the spinning device inside the hammer could spin fast enough to the point of a sonic boom. Now, I'm no physicist, so if this doesn't seem possible, then we'll just go with the usual... aliens excuse. The other way that it could make a shockwave is from a large buildup of gas, like a super fart. <laughs> If enough gas is built up and compressed inside the hammer and then released all at once, it could create a shockwave-like effect. That could explain the spinning device as it would create some sort of vacuum. Again, the hammers are created by the same people who make the needlers, so they also have experience working with gas, according to the other theory. But then there's that third thing, the third question of how the hammer pulls things toward it. We only ever see three brutes using the gravity pulling effect throughout the entire Halo franchise. Tartarus in Halo 2, the Brute Chieftain in the first Halo Wars, and Atriox from the upcoming Halo Wars 2. Since Tartarus has the most screen time, we'll use him as an example. In Halo 2, Tartarus uses his gravity hammer to pull Miranda Keys towards him with what seems to be electricity. It takes a while for him to actually pull her towards him, like he's charging something. What I think makes sense is that he's charging the human with magnetism, similar to how you can make something magnetic by rubbing it against a magnet a few times. Perhaps just heavily magnetizing the small bits of iron that's in everyone's blood. Remember, we're dealing with highly advanced alien technology here, and Magneto did it that one time. 
His gravity hammer charges objects with magnetism, then reverses the polarity of his hammer to push or pull that object to or from him. This would explain why Tartarus was able to pull 343 Guilty Spark towards him with a much shorter charge than with Keys, and how he pushed Arbiter very quickly. Arbiter and 343 Guilty Spark have tons of metal on them, which would absorb the magnetism much faster than any human body would. Still though, this is just a theory. So who knows, the gravity hammer could be using some alien space magic we don't know about. Or the brutes actually did figure out gravity secrets. I mean, look at Atriox, a brute known for being extremely intelligent. We really don't know the truth for sure, but it can't hurt to hunt for it. And that's what theory videos on the internet are all about. So until next time, you stay awesome and never stop using that noggin. And hey, if you like learning about Halo, I have these other two videos right here. What weapon from any game would you like me to examine next? Let me know down below, and be sure to leave a like while you're down there. Thanks again.